I could just say. And if that wasn't trying me how she was trying me. I if I could describe our sex, it'd be the couch to the bed to the flow for me. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter. I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Get right, boo. You look good. It's shit coming out my ponytail. It's just dirt. <laughs> What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl J. You already know. Welcome back to J Bobs. There's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. Today's video is Vlogmas Day 13. I'm like two days away from halfway being in that thing. This was big for me. Anywho, I am about to get into these comments from Vlogmas Day 12 before we get into this video. So I'm gonna do three comments. I'm gonna do a wild card comment because baby girl had me fed up in these comments. Like not fed up in a bad way. But I can't believe you tried it. Let me just say your comment first. This is from Tay Dot Keeping It Real. You was like, hey J Vibes with a S. Who is that? In an E. That's not me. B I B Z. Okay? Please. You was like, aka beautiful. Thank you. And then you said, I know your birthday is January the 20th. Who? Whose birthday is January the 20th? That would make me a Capricorn. And that is what I'm not. I don't even know if January the 20th is a Capricorn or Aquarius. I just know that's not my birthday. Okay? But yours on the 26th though. Like, watch y'all remember yours and you can't remember mine. Anywho, Aquarius game. Yes, ma'am. I love you. I love you too. You said stay happy, stay strong, and stay safe. You already know the vibes. Okay? Alright, now let's get into the real comment. This is from... Brandy W. She said, it's a good thing you reached out to her. We all have the ex-best friend that we think about here and there. I hope you ladies become friend again, learn to trust and be in the kids' lives. Did she agree to lunch? Question mark. Spread all the positive J vibes. Again, like y'all, V-I-B-E-Z, V-I-B-E-S. That's not me. V-I-B-Z, like, <sighs> V I B Z. Ain't no E. Ain't no S. And then he was like, can't wait to hear the update. So she actually did agree to have lunch with me. We're supposed to have lunch on the 19th, but I gotta work. So I gotta let her know that because I didn't expect that. But now that I know that, I gotta tell her that. And then we're gonna reschedule that thing after the New Year's. I'm not trying to insert myself in her kid's life because no, we're we not doing that. We're gonna take this one step at a time, okay? So the second comment is gonna come from Raina Frey. You say, hey Jay, love your energy and individual. What? I can't even say that word. Anywho, <laughs> you said, thank you for sharing your story about your friend. I think you should definitely try to meet up and talk as an older supporter. Shout out to my older supporters. I know y'all out there watch me and I appreciate you. I can tell you're that true friendship is everything and hard to come by. And from what you described, this person sounds like she may be a keeper. I have three besties. One I met 42 years ago. Damn. When we were seven. Yes, that's right. Damn. <laughs> and the other two I've known for 25 plus years. See, that's the energy I'm looking for. I have a best friend that lives in Greensboro. And I've known her for seven years now. And if me and my ex-best friend were still friends, I would have known her since 2008. So that would have been 12 years. But yeah, um, then you was like, my life would have been so different without their love and support. Expect things to be different with her at first. People grow and change just as you have, but the fun part will be learning each other again. It will also be important to listen and hear each other out to really understand what happened with the relationship. You mean friendship and one no relationship, but I understand what you're saying. Communication is important. Yes, it is. I hope you don't see this message twice. I typed it before in the wrong spot and it didn't post. <laughs> you are funny. You said some really good things in this comment. I'm definitely looking forward to, like I said, just getting to know her definitely because she has kids now. Like the girl that I knew when I knew her, she was a thought. I ain't trying to 
trying to be rude, but she was a thought. She was a little thotty. To know that she got kids by the person that she didn't think she's gonna have kids with, I can't wait to talk to her about that because I'm gonna be like, I told you so. But anywho, I'm excited to sit down with her. Okay, now last comment is coming from Louise Spot. You said, if you don't have any bad feelings, I say hash it out. Let her know where you're coming from and hopefully she's receptive. It should all be good if y'all both come in with an open mind, willingness to understand each other because everyone, yum yum. It's funny tonight. Willingness to understand each other because everyone perceives situations different. Y'all can be in the same situation and retell it or salt it a different way and no expectations. Good luck. Nothing wrong with seeing how things can go. Let me tell you something about that word expectations. I hate expectations because expectations lead to disappointments. So I'm really not coming into this lunch with her expecting anything but good vibes and if it's not good vibes i'ma get that check get that food in that box and i'ma leave okay i don't even feel like it's gonna be bad vibes again because if i felt that way i would not even have reached out to her at all but this is gonna be fun i'm definitely gonna update you guys like i said i'm gonna give you guys that update sometime in january so look out for that and for the repeat my birthday is january 22nd let's get into these shots i am drinking Penny. And this is actually a special edition bottle. Too bad I'm, I can't open this bottle. I mean, I can't. My daddy want to drink this on Christmas. Turn up. So I went to the liquor store and I thought I was going to get a pint. The way the liquor store is set up near my house. What the f*** is this? What I'm going to do with this? That's what we drinking, but I do got a shot glass. This is a double shot, so when you see me not pour it all the way up, don't come for me. I'm doing way better than what these other YouTubers been doing. They not even taking full shots, y'all. They pouring like sips. Some people not even drinking liquor by itself. They drinking margarita mixes. Tay, Ray, y'all not even pouring full shots. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. You already know what to do. Stop playing me. You already know the vibes. Just to let you know, all of these questions today is coming from Debbie, and I just had a hot flash because Debbie, I already know. Like, I don't know, but I know, but shh girl let's just get into the video all right she said i got some questions for truth or drink of course you do i've had that idea as well so i love that all of us plum squad supporters think alike or maybe we just want to see you drunk i definitely think y'all want to see me drunk but it's okay because as soon as i get drunk guess where i'm going i'm coming right here in this bed as long as i don't throw up i'm gonna be good but i ate some food so i should definitely be good <sighs> i'm nervous Y'all just be commenting so much. Who told y'all to do that? Nah, this way. Let me go ahead and just. Y'all, I ain't never opened up a henny bottle this small before. If I can't open it, video open, not nah, this way. I really can't get it open. Let me try the other one. How to use their mouth. Question one. Do you think there's any other YouTubers out here trying to copy your content? Use your phrases, especially big period. Let me find out. I honestly don't know. Anybody that's saying big period, if somebody is, you need to tell me. And if anybody is using my tell them that's my and that's that on that big period. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of beeps in this uh, too because I already know because Henny just makes me a little feisty. Another question. Literally, that's, that's what she said. Out of all your ex friends, y'all in the. Y'all be using that word ex a little bit too much for me. Is there any that you miss or would consider starting that friendship over? It's crazy you asked me this question literally six days ago because I made my Vlogmas Day 12 video yesterday and I already confessed that yes, my best friend from high school i want to rekindle our friendship but that's it anybody else that i lost i don't care i put down everything i love i don't care are there any youtubers you wish you didn't collab with if yes why i'm glad you didn't ask me who but yes it's some youtubers i wish i did not collab with because Because I can do better by myself. I answered that question after I took the shot. Which YouTube cover do you think is fraud? Debbie. This is OJ. Leave me alone. Debbie, you wrong for that. 
next question. Am I in your business? Oops, I am. But anyways, answer or drink? Yeah, you in my business. Don't do that. Y'all, she literally got questions and then she comment. I'm just reading what she wrote, okay? Debbie said, I'm literally an open book and I am. And she said, I feel like I know a lot about you. And you do. And she said, I never feel okay asking someone about their sex life. Please don't, cause you in my business. Back to the questions. Can I just smoke a little hookah first? I'm having hot flashes right now. And then she say, but I got some more questions. Debbie, I would love to meet you in person. Like, you are a freaking Bob. Do you know that? Okay, this is your question. Do you ever start to go down? <laughs> Debbie! Do you ever start to go down on someone and stop because she wasn't fresh? Debbie, you think you slick, girl. Why you, why you go there? I thought you said you want to ask about my sex life. That's asking me about my sex life. Mm. Jesus, bless this house. Please bless this house and bless this room and bless this shot and bless Debbie's mouth because I'm not even halfway in these questions. Hey, I'm already in my third shot. Mm. The next question. If you didn't have the choice and was told you had to give up Pixie or marry your worst ex, what, what you gonna do? Oh my God. I'm gonna have to give up Pixie. Cause I just, marriage is huge. So to marry my worst ex, you want me to be in jail. And I'm not going back to jail. And I done told y'all that. I'm not going back to jail. I don't care. This is about to be crazy. Next question. I'm hot. Which video made you the most money so far? Baby girl, you already know. That whole exposing situation. Look, I'm stirring on my damn words. That made me my most money. And if I can go back, God could cut that check to himself because I will never, ever, ever get out of my character for nobody. And if that wasn't trying me how she was trying me, I would have never did that video because I was over here cooling and chilling and having a hot girl summer. We're not gonna go there. Next question. If you had to give up something you love for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, if I had to give up something that I love for the rest of my life. Like, I'm torn. Like, is it my car mats? Is it hookah? Or is it alcohol, period? I ain't gonna lie, I kinda did give us something that I love already. Y'all, I ain't even been really smoking marijuana like that. Like, I've been chilling. I know, y'all probably like, what, Jay? I got a whole WeTube channel that I have not been putting no content on because I ain't been smoking. I've been sober and smoking on this hookah. But I'm gonna have to say marijuana because I really actually do enjoy being high. It literally gets me a different vibe. Like, especially when I smoke by myself, I get very creative. A lot of my freestyles come from when I'm drinking or when I'm high. So I would say marijuana because who wants chat lips and who don't want to smoke hookah when they come home? And who want to be just like completely sober and not drink? Like, yeah, no, it would have to be marijuana. Next question. Given all the recent YouTube drama going on, do you think those that reacted on it are just as bad as the T-pages that exposed the drama to being to begin with? And do you think by them reacting, it kept the drama going? So this is a good question because I was in the shower thinking of like videos that I was supposed to react to. And I was going to react to the whole Nick and King breakup situation, but it kind of like took me back to like when I had my situation and people was reacting to my breakup. And that can be very embarrassing, humiliating, humiliating. And I didn't want to do that because I felt I feel like when people do videos about their breakup, they're really doing it for you guys. They're not even doing it for themselves. But I feel like when these T pages and when people react to it, they really be assuming stuff. They be dragging it. Their captions and their titles be very disrespectful. Like when I was going through that, people was like really coming for me. People was coming for me, coming for my family. It's this one T page that literally was on one of my lives on YouTube live when I was at my sister house and my mama and my grandma was there. And they called my mama a crackhead. 
And I don't know where the f they got that sh from. I don't know who. It just make you think, like, who's behind these T pages? Because who just says that? Who calls somebody mama a crackhead? I'm not doing it. I'm not ever going to react to nobody breaking up video because been there done that and i know how it feels to be on the other side looking at somebody trying to, you know what i'm saying and it's just it's not it's not a good vibe i think i answered both of your questions let's go to the next question which is girl everything look alike right now did you ever fake feelings in a relationship just because you were afraid to be the one to end it not wanting to hurt the other's feelings i know you're not fake but we all done something we didn't want to to spare the feelings of those we once cared about I'm not gonna say I faked feelings. I'm gonna say I stayed longer than I should just because I don't like to end stuff. Like, I don't remember the last time I broke up with somebody. I ain't gonna lie, this most recent situation that I was in, it wasn't even a relationship, it was just a situation. I ended that because I should have known better. You know what I'm saying? But when I met that person, I was very vulnerable and very weak. But I'm, I've never been in a relationship and fake my feelings, you know what I'm saying? I may have not spoken about my feelings or I may have not been honest about how I felt because I didn't really know how to communicate. And that person did not make me feel comfortable. I no longer felt comfortable communicating and expressing how I felt because, child, it's a long story. You, you, don't, you don't even want to know. You, you, don't, you don't even want to know. Next question. Damn, Debbie, you gonna make me drink or not? What's the next question? Uh, what was the worst video in your mind that you put out, but it received tons of love? I can't even answer this question because it's a few. I'm gonna take a shot just because I don't have a specific answer for you. But to be honest, all of my old content, I hate that shit. I hate, for real, for real. I'm like debating if I should make them all private. All of them. But I feel like I shouldn't do that because you guys, or like my new subscribers, they're not gonna be able to see my growth and like to see where I came from and where I'm at now. But I hate all of my old content. First of all, my locks were short as fuck. Second of all, I did not feel pretty. Y'all don't even know this, but that's like the, I felt the ugliest when I first started my locks. It was everything, like I didn't know how to manage my hair. My gap was like literally getting to me and I was not comfortable with my weight. That was the smallest I ever been. The smallest I ever been was 94 pounds. Why was I ever 94 pounds in my 20s? I don't know. That was embarrassing, okay? And I look disgusting. Like, I don't even know how y'all were even complimenting me because I couldn't even compliment myself. So yeah, I'm gonna take this shot though because is I don't have I don't have a specific answer for you but just to know all of my old content I hate I hate I hate I hate that's a big shot Jay okay we need to chill out because I didn't mean to pour that much but I'm gonna drink it mm. <laughs> I'm so hot Which YouTuber or, or couple are the biggest clout chasers on this platform? <laughs> you want me to be messy so bad. I'm not being messy with y'all. That's, that's, that's it. I gotta open up the other bottle. I'm not being messy. That's not me. Because you already know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> This the one I couldn't get open. I just got strong out of nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna take this shot because when it comes to um, when it comes to that question, it's so many people. But that ain't got nothing to do with me. So I'm gonna take this shot, y'all. Hold on, can we take a timeout? I feel like I'm sitting on top of a heating pad right now. The vibes must continue. <laughs> Shout out to Debbie though for these questions. Yes, when I take shots, that's my thing. Especially when it's getting to me. If you wanna know if I'm getting fucked up or not, look for this. This, 
it's all in my hands. You know how some people make facial expressions? I got that too. But it's all in my hands, in my face, in my stomach, in my throat. The and that OJ, it ain't really helping me. <laughs> Next question. Did you ever fall asleep during sex because it was so bad it literally knocked you out? Yeah, no. I don't condone in bad sex. I will tell you to stop and I will put your ass out. I've been there, done that. I was having sex and I didn't even know I was having sex because it's, I was like, what are we doing? Because it didn't feel like I was having sex. It felt very childish. And I told that person to stop. And I said, can you go in the living room? And I locked my door and I said, I will take you home in the morning. Period. I don't play them games. Do not play with my body because my body is not to be played with. Don't play with me. Next question. Without giving a name, thank God. Who was one of the fakest persons you ever met before realizing they were fake and what did they do that made you realize they were a fraud ass friend? You know what's crazy? I can literally read people and not read them to a T, but it's a vibe that I get from people. And it's been so many times where I had to tell somebody I ain't f***ing with them. And I may not knew why I wasn't f***ing with them at the moment, but I knew it was something within me. I just want to say a name so bad, but I ain't going to say no names. I'm going to just, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. This is like maybe two years ago. I was in the comfort of my own home and my home had company but my sister was also there too and let me tell you something about my sister my sister's a leo she don't play that fake shit she is very blunt okay all of her feelings and emotions are on her face so if she ain't feeling you you gonna know it if she don't like you you gonna know it if she don't care for you she gonna tell you and she not gonna talk to you at the same time, like she gonna tell you and she not gonna talk to you. So this chick and this other chick, because they was going together, maybe you can put two and two together, but this chick and this other chick was, they was going together and they came to my house. And the chick, the feminine chick, she was like really hyper, all over the place, too comfortable. She was like questioning me. And then she started to question my sister. See, that's where she f***ed up at. She should have never questioned my sister because my sister was like, do you know me and why are you talking to me i did not like her vibe and the fact that she brought that energy in my house when she left it was a bad energy in my house and i literally had to pack my bag and come to my daddy's house like that's how bad the energy was and i wasn't feeling it but you know people don't want to believe you when you say stuff when you how you say it when you say it so some months went by right Matter of fact, some years went by and that person who I told that she wasn't a good vibe, she was like, oh my God, you were so right. And I don't want to hear that <laughs> Like when I tell you something, you need to believe me when I say it. I ain't going to say believe me every time, but at least like give me the benefit of doubt that I know what the f I'm talking about. Okay, I'm almost done y'all because I swear I can't take no more shots. She said, after doing a YouTube promo for someone, did you regret it? Also, do you think any other people you did promos for use you, copy your content, and use us loyal subscribers to gain followers? When I do promos, I genuinely do promos like out of the kindness of my heart because I want to see other people win. I want to see other people's platforms grow and i'm just like willing to help other people but let me tell you something about this one chick i did a promo for her and she kept coming back kept coming back kept coming back kept coming back so i kept doing the promo right <clears throat> but she wasn't doing no content she paid me a thousand dollars to promote her but this is what i did i said you know what i said i'm gonna do more than just promote you i said i'm gonna also coach you so i did i did more than what she asked for i coached her i tried to help her and I regret it because she ended up not putting in the work. She ended up like having excuses. Then when I finally went to her channel to like see what she been doing, yo, like she was being very lazy. And I just felt like she thought that I was gonna put in the work for her. I think she thought, I don't know what she thought. I don't care what she thought, but I regret doing that because do I regret it? I don't know because let me tell you what I did with that thousand dollars. I brought me a heat press machine 
And I brought me a cutter. That's how I got all of my equipment to print my shirts. But I literally, I told her what she needed to do. And it was just always an excuse. So that's why I regret it because it's like, don't ask me to help you if you really don't want the help. And if you're not gonna help yourself, how can I help you if you're not gonna help yourself? Make it make sense. But yeah, that's really the only promo that I regret. As far as like people using me, y'all, people get used all the time. Like, you know, I send my supporters over there but they're not going to continue to support somebody if you're not putting in your own work. You know what I'm saying? And that's just big period. Next question. Okay, has anyone ever tried using you for clout? What I just what I just say, Debbie? What I just say? Has anybody ever tried to use me for clout? Yes, yes. And I don't even want to speak on it because I don't want nobody else to be using me for no clout. I got like this much clout. I got like 3% clout. I be looking at people's channels and I be like, how in the world? I'm not comparing, I'm not comparing at all. Am I being judgmental? Maybe. But I be like, how the f do they have all of these subscribers? I'm just slept on, that's what I know. I'm slept on and that's that on that because I'm too lit to not be where I'm supposed to be. But I'm gonna be patient. I've always been patient. How did I get this lit? Okay, two more questions. Why are you so lovable? I feel like I'm lovable because I'm real as and you can relate with me and I'ma keep it 100 and I'm an open book. I don't hide nothing. I don't lie about shit. I don't fake anything. And I, 43% of the time, don't give a about what anybody has to say or think because guess what? It's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. Now, I got one more question. <sighs> Sheesh, this question says, and this is not from Debbie. It says, do you and the person you're talking to have great sex? Yeah. I'm gonna take a shot on that just because it's amazing like no cap give me a moment while i just have a moment to myself this is a moment of silence for the great sex can we get a moment of silence amen also how would i describe it mm. if i could describe our sex uh, it's like very intimate and passionate and like wet. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shot. You are in my business. Why are you in my business? <laughs> It'd be the facial expressions for me. It'd be the talk back to me. It be the couch to the bed to the floor for me. I'm done with this video, y'all, because, yeah, no. I want to say this handy for tomorrow because tomorrow or today is Sunday. Anywho, I hope that you like this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, you guys. I'm lit. Like, I, I can't even, I don't even know what I be saying. What I be saying? I be saying what? I say what? Be blessed, stay clean, have a great day and night, whatever time you look at this video. I do know that I tell y'all that I love you because I do. And I do appreciate you because I do. And, um, damn. I still gotta do a part three. Like, that's the crazy thing. I gotta do a part three to this truth to drink. This is what I need you to do. Because I do have questions. But I need you to give me questions and text me. 704 four three zero nine six zero three text me like question a question b question a question b because i'm gonna do a video with someone okay it's a surprise i ain't gonna tell you it's a surprise but they're gonna like i want to like you know how ray who was it ray and kiana you know how they did like okay i'm gonna read this question this question for you versus i can't even explain it just do what i say though just do it because i said it because I said do it and I need you just to listen, okay? I'm too lit to even explain to you in my hookah. Y'all wasting my mother clothes. Ain't nobody over here buying clothes or shisha but me. Like, I'm ending this video. 
Goodbye. Clothes over here are gone. <laughs> Ain't been smoking a hookah none. You hilarious. My ass is wet. What? Yes. My feet, my ass, my neck. I'm about to get back in the shower. This light is what make me sweat the most. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my hoe. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch. Just take a bow like my name Rihanna. Now she buying seven rings like I'm Ariana. Where's a lot of great?